The 727 Shan State Army troops are situated next to the Thai border at Qingdao District in Chiang Mai Province. It is one of the many subdivisions of the SSA. Focus on public relations and protection of two cities under the control of the Shan State. The troops use Doi Sanju or Sip Sam as their base. Every SSA subdivision has a similar structure of the army headquarters in the center, surrounded by soldiers' living quarters, villagers' houses, a temple, a school, and a hospital. SSA army bases used to have only soldiers living in them, but as the Burmese military junta cracked down on more and more Thai, they relocate themselves to live along the border under the protection of the SSA. Uh, สีร้อยกว่าก่อนก่อนก็จะหนีมาDoi Thai Lang also used to house only soldiers and their families, but now refugees have moved in to seek protection. The mountain is a perfect base for warfare because of its height, but it is not suited to the establishment of communities as there is limited water resources and not enough flat land for agricultural activities, resulting in shortage of food. The SSA hands out rations of rice, cooking oil, yellow beans, fermented beans and salt once a month. The money to purchase these necessities come from donations by international charity organizations that provide food, health care and education, but the limited resources means that the SSA can only feed a small portion of its people. <laughs> Apart from farming and raising livestock, some Thai people earn a living as laborer for Thai farms and orchards along the border. Some would collect the bong flour and dry them to sell as raw materials for brooms at 20 to 25 baht per kilogram. The Qingtung Division of the SSA under Zhao Gongjun is one of the more developed forces because of its proximity to the Thai border near Mefa Luang District in Chiang Rai and surrounded by tea plantations of both the Thai and Thai people.
located on Dai Gao Wan. The settlement has a school and hospital, funded by an international private development organization. The organization also provides healthcare knowledge, particularly physical therapy, as many Thai soldiers have lost their limbs from the fighting with Burmese troops. Doctors and nurses in the SSA are trained by international private development organizations and hospitals in Thailand. They have no formal training but are volunteers who want to help out in this field but do not receive regular wages. <laughs> Despite a difficult life in the woods, these Thai people have the hope that they will one day be equal to the Burmese, but the only way to achieve that is to fight for autonomy.